Relax, Stephanie. Don't play the Stephanie. But I didn't Stephanie. say anything. Bullshit. I, I'm telling you the truth here. You know, I definitely didn't use that word. Bullshit. So that I, I did not. I would never say that about you ever. And you know what? I am not going to be. Bullshit. I didn't. Fucker. Say ugly. She no, was I'm. in the next room. In the other room, you bastard. Okay, so don't try and Lance Armstrong your way up this one. I'm not. Backpedaling like some fucking Look, mother. I barely mentioned you. That's all. It was. It was in a nice way. It wasn't Fuck like you. some big old. I just want to go to bed. I don't care what you want to do, Dick. Okay, would you stop, please? No, I'm not gonna stop. What for, huh? What for? So, so that I can explain the actual. I don't need you to explain. I've already heard all the explanations that I want to hear, and I don't believe you. You hear that? Yes. I do not ever believe the shit that comes out of your mouth ever. Yeah, well, that's fucked. Okay. You're fucked. That's what's fucked, Jimmy. So you're fucked big time. You know what? This is stupid, no, so I'm no, not gonna be. Do not walk out if you're going to be fighting, or I swear to God, I will. I will murder your fish. I'll flush it like down the toilet, or I'll do whatever it takes. But I will hurt you, and you will not like it. So you better just stay right. No, no I don't want you to come over. God, no. But you better stay here and argue this shit out. I'm gonna wreck your life a little bit. Swear fucking will. Man, this is. You know what? You're talking nuts now. Don't say that. I mean, seriously. No, I mean, boy, if you're looking for things to get shitty, then okay. But otherwise, I wouldn't say a thing like that. Not anything about being psycho or that. Stephanie, junk. hey, would you listen? No! Please! Fuck, please. Please is shit. Please is like something you crap out in your pants and you're too embarrassed to clean it up. I'm not even gonna listen to you. Okay, you know what? Then I really don't know what to say about the this truth. because you're. I'm telling you the whole. Don't say it if it's not. Uh, I will know, and you know that I'm not. And I'll fucking pounce on you like I was fucking death itself if you're lying to me. I swear to you, like fucking death. You know, you swear a lot when you're mad. I'll fuck you. No, you see? Cock sucker. I'm just saying. And I'm saying fuck you. If that's all Look, you can do I right was now, just try and dilute out. the issue hey, of time. Or I'm getting not, I'm not, not what you're being all. Or trying to make me smile, or you need that shit that you usually do, and fuck you. Fuck you. Fine. Fine. <sighs> what? Okay, and? And? And what? Don't you have to be a worker? I don't like me after. Steph! What did you say that she heard and then called me about? Huh? I didn't say I'm telling you the truth about what I'll do to you. I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, did she say that I. Huh? You, I don't mean, you don't remember? No, I mean, look. Okay, I was talking to Ken. We were laughing about stuff. Like, like this new guy. He's a real goof. He's been asking us to join our softball team. So we were joking about whatever, and that's all. That's it. Yes. I mean, come on, Steph, you know how we get when we're... What? Just talking. Jesus, going on about our lives, situations. And? Nothing. Anything we said, it wasn't a big deal. I mean, God, and if she's gonna call you every single time I open my mouth at their place, I won't even go over it again, all right? Yeah, I, she'll be crushed. I'm just saying to her. I'm sick of her acting like a cop even when she's off duty. She doesn't want to okay, she's not. Fine. She's basically a, a home mom. Okay, okay, so you're talking? Honey, please, come on. No, Don't tell me leave. what she said. I didn't say anything. You said it loud enough for her to hear it. You said it loud enough for her to repeat it to me in complete detail. Oh, verbatim, as you like to call it. Fuck. Say it to my, no, that wasn't it. So, okay, oh. would you stop, please? You don't need to say it. Maybe it's easier that way. No. I tell. You know what? That's stupid, so, so no. No, no, I can treat you like a preschooler. Maybe you should do it that way. I, I don't need anything to be easier, okay? You know what, I'm not afraid of you or about anything I said because it wasn't a big deal. Yeah, maybe we were a bit loud out in the garage and we were talking, but honey, come on, I didn't say shit. She was in the kitchen, Greg. The door to the kitchen was open. Voices travel, they're made up of sound in case you didn't know. Yeah, I'm down with the basic scientific principles, thank you. Great, right, and so she's cooking up some ground beef for tacos on the stove and she can hear you plain as day going on about me and there's no doubt in her mind, there's none. And you said exactly what she repeated to I me. see. So over the sound of hot meat, she can hear me talking? Oh god, you're so st No, I'm just saying, do I get to ask any shit here? This is sort of a one-sided okay, deal we got going on. Right, jump. All right, so, so she hears me talking. She's suddenly like Wonder Woman, and from an entire room away, she hears me and what I'm saying to Ken as we're out there banging away on a Chevelle. That's it. You mean the bionic woman. Huh? Not only Wonder Woman, who has various powers, but hearing wasn't one Whatever, of them. Whatever, you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. That's why I just corrected you on it. Okay. Bionic woman, Lindsay Wagner. Great. It doesn't matter, you're just deflecting it again. Yes, she heard you, clear as day. Okay, or, or, and? Or, or, or bell, or whatever. And? And what? What she say, that I said. Oh, so now you're going to say it. If you need to, so bad, oh, I yeah. I thought you didn't want me to, I thought that was stupid. That was before. Before. Yeah, before. Before what? Before you pissed me oh, off. you were pissed off? 
Now you're pissed off now, fucker! Oh, I can with the mouth! God, you're such a prick! Stop! My God, you're like an Eddie Murphy concert or something with all the... You fucking ass, my God, you're such a Art. fucking... Christ, can we not make the entire building where you're psychotic break fuck you. reality? Fuck you! Oh. Fuck you! Oh, fuck this! I don't need to stand here and take this. Throw the fish in the toilet. I'm not gonna be surprised. I'm not about to stand here, take this kind of abuse. Don't you even You know what? You've got a real issue with your temper. You know that stuff? Don't even start with this I'm shit. I'm serious. You're acting like one of those chicks from the 70s who started taking shots at present Ford. A fucking nutcase. Shut up, fuckhead. I mean, you're crazy. A goddamn loon. Fucker! Please, just tell me what you said. No! Tell me what you no, said and I'll what stop. what is up with you? Say it. Why? Say it to me. Jesus, why are you so I told you. Say it to me. Say it to me. Say it to me. Oh my God, God, I told you. Say it. But fucking say it now. Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I'll quit. Do it. I will. Trick. Do it. It's go. It's a quarter off. I don't care. Do it. I'm going to. Do, now. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Ken said something about a new girl at work. Some younger gal, she just got hired, she's not in our division, over in the shipping office, work swing. He said she was hot. I agree, that was all. That's it. Yes, I mean look, he's always had an eye for, you know. <laughs> and I was just going along. And you know what, I don't know why she's gotta be saying something about me stirring up trouble. I mean fuck. I wasn't the guy talking shit about something. I mean, think about that. You didn't Ask say yourself anything. that question. You didn't say anything about me. I don't think I said anything. Nothing in comparison to her or anything like that. No. Nothing at all. I mean, no, not in. You got this far. Not in comparison or. Please. Come on, you got this far. Don't fuck it up. What I, what I said was, I, I know, I, I know what I said now. This is it. <laughs> I said, like, um, yeah, well, maybe, maybe Steph hasn't got a face like that girl's. Maybe her face is just, just regular. But, 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 I wouldn't trade it for a million bucks. It was something like that, you know? Regular. Yeah, I was all, that was just, it was just Okay. You just, hey, I never said it ugly. I was, yeah, that's I, exactly what I you was, said to me. You said those exact words. All right then. Which, which, which wasn't meant as any sort of comparison. <laughs> Even though she's beautiful? She's pretty. Steph, it was, it, it was meant as a compliment. I see. Well, guess what? Making a statement. Exactly. She threw a chair at me, actually. <laughs> at one of those pots, you know, with the handle on it? No, what? You know where they make, like, uh, pancakes and shit? Oh, that's a pan. That's a frying pan. Oh. <laughs> or a skillet. 
You want to get fancy? Yes, well, one of those. I thought you said it was a pot. Dude, whatever. It went whizzing by my head. I didn't take stock. I ducked. Stuck my head in the kitchen. Bang! Fuck. Yeah. And just so you know, though, it's a pan. <laughs> Fine. God. Dude, I used to work at Denny's, so I should know. All right, well, that's pan. what she threw. And? And nothing. I haven't heard a word since. Two days. No? No call, a text, nothing, man. I rang up their place, I'm only getting the answering machine. God, her mom is eating this up, dude. She hates me. That figures. Yeah. Left the message anyway. I don't know, I'm just like... I'm like totally baffled by all this. What's that? Protein bar. Oh, why are you having that? What do you... what do you mean? You just ate. And now you're gonna have one of those too. Uh huh, it's the only way I'll make the break. That doesn't make any sense. They're good though. It's supposed to give you a jolt of energy. Yeah, but therefore, you know, like it's a supplement. You know, as a. Instead of a. You're not supposed to eat that after you've already eaten. Mm. They're not dessert, even with all the chocolate on it. Mm. <laughs> I think it's caramel. Whatever. It's like having two meals. So, that's okay. Yeah, if you want to get fat, it is. Dude, I'm not going to get fat because I had one of these things. This is all natural stuff in it. It's like nuts and seeds. You'd be surprised. Hey, athletes eat them all the time, Olympians and whoever. Are you out running? Hmm? Or swimming? I don't see you doing any cardio work or like lifting. Mm. Nothing. Just shoving anything you see in that counter over there in your stomach. Kent, it's a fucking snack. Take it easy. Yeah, well, we've got a group of guys counting on you is all. Ah, it's gonna be awesome, man. Wicked awesome. <laughs> Great, thanks, nice. What? I'm just showing you a little love, man. Come on, don't be a hater. Just shut up. You got me out in right field. How good do I gotta be, huh? You gotta be good enough to get us that motherfucking trophy, I huh? Guess. Ah! Yeah! Dude, you better be serious. We haven't brought one of those home since I started working here, and the last one was like an 86 or something. Now. Finish! Oh man, this is the year, without question. Third sucks. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Agreed. Even with the overtime. I am so beat, man. Except for that new girl. Uh -huh. Damn, she is fine, man. What? You never change. I'm just saying, she's a fox, and I'd love to see if that car matches the curtains. <laughs> I gotta take a dump. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> can't. I'm waiting for Carly. She's out on rounds. How gay is that? Very. <laughs> Dude, she pisses me off. Oh, come on, bro. Don't blame her for this. I don't. That's good, because you're the one that said it. I know. Shit. Of course, she didn't need to jump on the phone and repeat it before I even got home, though, did she? Dude, she's a girl. They got like sonar. It's a done deal the second it came out of your mouth. Yeah, well, she screwed me over, but good. Steph is acting like crazy horse. Exactly. Take him scouts. Yep. Noble savages, my ass, right? Uh huh. They took people's hair. Look, I'm just saying I would never do something so shitty like that to her all behind her back and everything. Right. Fuck, dude. I gotta go. Yeah, I'll wait for you. <laughs> all right. Can you uh tell her I'm in the can if she gets back? I'll probably flower it up a bit, but okay, fine. <laughs> Ken's using the restroom in case you're wondering. Oh. Yeah, he tried to wait, but you know, nature calls, so. Okay, thanks. Pretty dark. Yeah, well, it's night out. No, I meant that my. So it's gonna be, you know, dark. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's why they call it that. Call, call what that? Night. Is that why? Because it gets dark at night. Huh? So. <coughs> doesn't really make any sense, does it? No. No, I mean, not really. They could call it a. Uh, they could call it siesta. It would still be dark out. 
or raspberry, I mean night, doesn't really have that much to do with it. Fine. Great. I was just making conversation. Thanks, officer. Where is he? I don't know. Look, Carly, why'd you have to do that, huh? What? Don't call Steph and make some big I old... couldn't do anything. Yeah? Uh huh, she's all. I just called her. Nah, down. you got her totally worked up. She's completely oh, fixed. She... I can't even get Look, her to take my. I'm sorry, but she called me. So you're the one with the problem, obviously. Wait, what? She did. On her way to work. She called you? Yes, twice. The second time right from the parking lot of Supercuts. Why? I mean. Because we are friends, Greg. Because she needed someone to talk to today. And yeah, but because hey, I wait. would never say such a mean and horrible thing to her, that's why. You know, I actually meant the first. So yeah, she rang me up and we chatted, like friends do. We talked. About you, mostly. And what she say to me. She didn't say anything to you. It was to me, remember? Right. Called me at home. Right, that's what I meant. She, um, she said stuff to me. About you. Not really nice stuff either. She talked shit about you if you really want to know, okay? Great, great. Yeah, lots of shit and cried a little. Come on. I'm not kidding. She said she even put him in home. So there, happy? Wait, what? I'm not making this stuff up to delight and entertain you. Your girlfriend cried to me on the phone and it doesn't matter who called who. It doesn't. She's not upset because her best friend had the guts to tell her the truth. She's upset because of the things you said about her. Thing, thing, Jesus, one thing. And it wasn't like some big old, oh, God damn it, why did you tell her, huh? Why? Why did you say it? Right back at you, okay? Why would you ever say a thing like that about someone? And particularly a person you supposedly love. I'm sorry, but nobody, nobody, not even the most clueless of guys is going to make that kind of mistake. You were being honest. No. No, it wasn't. Look, it wasn't meant to be. I was saying a loving thing. Oh, really? I was. Huh. Well, I put some flowers in it, Simon, instead. Uh, Maybe. Because your communication skills suck. Fine. The message was lost. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever is right. All right, you know what, just don't look so triumphant or whatnot. Do not, because you know what? You don't know half of the... What? Fuck, nothing. What? Forget it. Oh, God, you guys love it when we do crap like this, huh? And what crap is that? You know, huh? fuck up. So you acknowledge it then? Yes, of course, yes, I told her that. I, I said I'm sorry for... I think I said I'm sorry. I, 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 I don't remember now. She was yelling and... <laughs> she said that. Yeah, she was swearing and screaming and God, you know how she gets. But I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure I did. I said, I said forgive me or something. <laughs> well, I'll ask her. Well, what does that mean? I'm saying when she calls again, I'll ask her. That's what you did. So you, so you mean what? This is it? She's, she's not coming home now? I don't know. Is that what you told her to do? No. No, bullshit, no. No, this is, this is bullshit. If something's going on, it's... What? What's up? What? I've never seen her this mad before about yeah. anything. Well... So what the fuck is this really about? Hey, don't swear No, me, seriously, okay? Carla, this is a bunch of bullshit. No, Greg, don't and you know start. what? Don't do that to me. Don't get her No, Greg. Tell me what else you guys no, said. No, stop it. Say it. I want you don't. to say it. Come on.
Because they need like crates of Kleenex for their master plan to take over the United States. You think Carly's going to be of any use in that situation? She carries a set of keys and a flashlight. <laughs> What's she going to do? Smile him to death? Still an amazing ass, you know? I don't know, man. Well, you can say it, man. I don't mind. I'm very okay well, with it. Whatever. And don't try and trick me. You're totally jealous of her. I know, but I'm talking about in theory here. All right. Her ass is kicking, right? It's Come not right. safe. It. Yes. It's kicking. Okay, fine. It rocks. It's a beautiful thing. Just don't be such a dick about it. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else is sweet, too, you know? Great body and amazing face. Okay, okay. Hey, sorry about before with us, uh, Getting a little hot there. Oh, it's not worries, man. I'm totally behind you. Really? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, totally. but you were all I mean. Yeah, well, I'm not crazy, man. I gotta cover my ass. The investment and all. Gotta drop on the side of the missus at a flat out open contest like that. Of course it's got it. Just not willing to uh, make much of myself all week, so you can have some big time Clarence Darrow moment. Sorry, bro, no can do. Fine, okay. Hey, hey man, not being cunts about this, just so you know. Thank you. <laughs> Hey man, not to be rude, but I've known you since we were freshmen. Where did you even hear of Clarence Darrow? You're not the only one to read, bro. Can't, that's a TV guide. <laughs> so? Plus it's free in the paper, dude. How awesome is that? On a scale of one to ten? Pretty fucking awesome. Time? After this, um, do you mind staying up for a no, while? No, sure, that's... Cool. Fine. Good. I mean, I need to sleep at some point, but that's all right if you have to. Appreciate it. It's cool. Thanks. Just walk around here a bit. Hit the pet store. So, 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 so. How did we get to this place, huh? 
Easy? Yeah. Yeah, you said some stupid shit and this is what happens. Come on, Steph. No, I'm not gonna come on today. Today is not a come on day. Look, I'm just saying. No, it isn't. I mean, did you think I was gonna forget or something? No. I like, mean... like there'd be some sort of miracle or conversion would have you in a couple of days of me being away? You know, I'm not Jesus. I know. I know, God. No, no, guess again. Really funny. I don't think so. I don't think this is one bit funny, Greg, and I hope you can see that. Okay, I do. I get, I get that, but I'm... Um... Are you confused? Yeah, yeah, I am a lot. Yeah, don't be, you shouldn't be. It's not at all confusing, you know? You opened my eyes to a lot of shit. By what? By what? By me saying that, that one? Yes, that. Stephanie, come on, let's be serious, let's. I said one thing. A, a stupid little... Yeah, about me. I know. I mean, I can take a lot, pretty much. But my face, that's shit. I mean, even if I was ugly, I'm saying even if I was not cute or close to that unattractive by world standards, don't I want to be with a guy who finds me beautiful? I think so. It's not really that hard. It's not like a math equation or anything, right? It's fairly simple. I can't be with a guy who finds me unpleasant to look at. Look, I don't. No, let's not get into this again because I'm not going to be able to deal with this okay, shit. Okay, okay. What? Shh, you have to be so loud all What? I don't know anybody here. <laughs> Fine. Fine. <laughs> Do you want to grab a bite or something? No. Salad? No. Come on, look, it's lunchtime, isn't it? It's time to eat. You're racing around town, you're not going to stop and eat, plus the drive back. You're staying with your folks, right? Yes, yes. I'm okay, so why don't we just grab something, sit down, and actually... Okay, don't, all right? Don't try to act like this didn't happen and I'm just having a girl thing here because that's not the story, buddy. It's not. I mean, we can start kissing each other and, and eating a lunch and blabbing on the phone next week. You know, we're done, Greg. I'm finished with our relationship, and I'm going to need you to acknowledge that before we go. Flowers? Flowers don't say Stephanie, thing. Jesus, this is crazy. This is crazy. All this stuff you're saying, because look, I care for you, and you do too. Don't I, I know say that. No. You always want to say shit for me. You always want to vouch for me or sign some shit that we should both have our names on and I'm going to have it anymore. You're not me, so you don't know. You know what? Listen to me very carefully. I'm only going to say this once. Fuck off. Get the fuck out of my life and let me start over in a serious fashion. If, if it's in a relationship or not, I, I don't know. But if it's in something like that, me, please, please be with someone who can keep from being an asshole and thinking they know everything because you don't. You do not know a goddamn thing to do with me. That's what I discovered in my four years with you. I mean, it's been four years. They're not gone and lost, and it makes me cry when I see any little bit from our time together. A key ring or... Oh, fuck. Hey, hey, hey. What? I'm trying to comfort you. Yeah, well, don't. I was... No, okay. Look. I'm gonna need your keys. <laughs> what? Great. No, I left mine in my other purse. Here, fine. Fuck, it's a key word. It's not, I didn't ask for half your paycheck or anything. Yeah, well, you couldn't. What's that? Nothing. Now, what did you say? Just forget it. Look, just. I don't have nails. Can you do it? Thanks. Thank you. I'll leave it under the mat. <laughs> cool. Um, your car, too, so. Yeah. We don't have to. Great. I mean, I'm sorry that I took it, but I was pissed, obviously. <laughs> do what you gotta do. Oh, you know, <coughs> Mr. Casual now. Is Whatever. that it? God, you're such a dick, Greg. How do you want me to act, Step, huh? I'm trying to be nice here. To make up with you, kiss your ass, which is what I figured you were after. I mean, getting on my knees practically to make it up with you, but you gotta keep... Keep pushing it, pushing me away by saying that we're saying that we're done. I mean, what what the hell is all that crap? You're so you're so angry. None of this makes any sense. And I just want to go back to the house, you know. I just want to go back to the house, climb into bed, say I'm sorry again if you want me to, but just climb in there, have you up against me. You're back up against me, and I can feel your heartbeat when you get all quiet like that. That's what I want. I see. That's what I like. So, you want to be back in bed, 
have my back up there against you that way. Yes. Why? So you don't have to look at my face? <laughs> oh my hey, god. Hey, you said it. Fuck. It's you that said it. You're the one that I'm said trying it. to make up with then you. Then say something nice to me then. I am. No, you're not. Yes. No, uh uh. I am too. No, you're not. And flowers. Oh, big fucking deal. You know what? I don't get you. I yeah, really don't. I do not don't get you. Try. Oh, bullshit. Bullshit. Oh. Fine. Get the hell out of here. Now. I will. Go ahead, go on. You ran your stupid face! Oh, shh. I knew it. No, that was a joke. I knew joke. you hated me, you fucking asshole! I was joking. This is no joke when he said I was just no goddamn joke, right. and you knew that. Take it easy. You know that. I was kidding. I can't even make a little one tiny. Enough. Who the fuck are these people? I couldn't care less. All right, step, stop, now be- No, shut up. Step, stop. Shut your big sideways burning mouth. That's what I want you to do. Uh, keep your damn mouth closed for a minute and listen to me. Here. This. I've not made this over the last however long. I don't know since I left, and it covers all your shit. All the crap that I'm feeling about you, but I've held my tongue on. You know, I was going to email you, but this year is way better. People! Oh, hey, you guys over there, come on. Come on over, sit down, right? Come on over, you should all hear no. this. This is good. Second one, please, please, please. Sit down, right? Sit down, right? This might help you why? with your next why? girl. Why? Why? Right. Greg, your hair is thinning. I'm a hairdresser, so I should know. I can spot it at the crown when you're bending over, or when you sit in the kitchen at the dinner table eating, and you ask me to fix you something, that's when I spot it. In front, too, but that may hold. I give it two years. I don't like your eyes. I never have. They're small and piggish, and you make it worse by squinting a lot. If you ever wore the sunglasses I bought you for Christmas, they were fucking expensive. Then it would help, but you don't, so your eyes look like shit. Your nose! Where do I begin with your nose? It's your mom, so I should be kind, but hey, fuck that. Your nostrils make me sick, and I always have to look up into them because we have the most unimaginative sex a person could ever come up with. I mean, I think you're gay, maybe? Seriously, you should check into that because you sure have trouble doing it with me, and I'm fine. I even like it with you, so I guess it's you. <sighs> your teeth are okay, just, but I don't like your lips at all. Your mouth is wide and your lips are way too thick to be sexy, and I hate kissing you. It's a shame, but it's true. I've almost hated kissing you since the first time that we did it, and that's really depressing. Your tongue is like this little poker, and, and you move it way too fast, and it's like bleh. You get the idea? It sucks. Right, right, I've been listening. Yeah, 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 I agree. Yeah, good, good, good. good. <laughs> uh, your body's okay. Nothing really special, but I hate how you walk around. I mean, during the summer or at the gym a lot anyway. Like, you're super cute and you have all these muscles and a nice stomach. You don't. You never have, so please stop doing that. It's kind of pathetic. I'm not the only person who thinks that. I'm not going to be so crass as to say much about your dick. Because that will put me on your level, being hurtful. But I will say that much. You're way too hairy down there. And most girls find that disgusting. Your balls too kind of makes me gag when I go there. Okay, enough said. Your, your legs are okay. Probably one of your best features. Your feet are the worst though. I mean, your, your toes, they're almost like fingers. And you bite your own toenails. I know you do. I've seen you. And that goes down as the most disgusting fact I know. The fact that you rip off your toenails with your teeth, and then after them you eat them or nibble at them anyway. Gross. And then you smell a little. You do, because you think that you don't have to shower after work, and then you'll go home and sweat some more, and then use a little deodorant, and then off you go to work or wherever, so you stink. Kind of. But I've stopped speaking to you about it because you don't listen. You do not fucking listen. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I guess that would be it. You did that. You did that to her. No shit. You don't really feel all that stuff. No. <laughs> no. Really. You couldn't. I mean, I don't think so. It just, it just isn't possible to feel like that kind of hatred and still want to be with a person, I guess that's what it is. Love is blind, shit-headed. I mean, yeah, but... Somebody had to open his big fucking mouth. Stephanie? 
You know, shows over people, you can go back to your shop sweet shit or whatever the fuck you're eating and go back away. This shouldn't be happening. But it is. I care about you. I honestly do. Yeah, you don't get it. I don't. I don't. And I get why you did that. So you could, like, teach me a lesson. But it's the same thing I did. It's not. Yes, it is. Just explain that one bit to me, then you can go. Because, Greg, it's, it's fairly simple. And look. I like your face. This is gonna sound stupid now. I know it is, but I've always thought you were... It's a really, really cute face, Steph. Mm. You're cute. You are. You're adorable. Oh, thanks. Of course, yeah. <laughs> so why is it different, huh? Because, Rick, you know all this stuff that I said about you right there? Yeah. <laughs> I, I wrote it down. I read it out loud. But it's not true. Mostly. But the stuff that you said about me, even if it's just that one little thing, that's completely and for all time sake true, and that's why. I'm taking the bedroom TV because I bought it with my own money, so I'm taking it. So, you know? Doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, it does. 
It absolutely matters, and let's not pretend, okay? Because he's being pretty obvious about it. I'm sorry that I was looking at the time. It has absolutely no bearing on whether or not I want to see you or not, because I do. But I also want to be a useful employee, which can only be a benefit to our lifestyle, and that, I'm beginning to see, puts me in a bit of a bind. Puts a fucking crimp in my plans. Yep. I'm sorry if you thought that I didn't want to see you, okay? Because I'm here to tell you that I do. And I am willing to wait here until Rich or any of your other pals in security come and find me. Yeah? Yes. <clears throat> you better? A little. Hey, that's good. Everything's back to normal, I see. <sighs> you gotta give her a little time, dude. Right? You know, Steph's her best friend. You know what, she can... Basically, holding you responsible for our closest pal moving away, so give her a little space, alright? I was coming in here to get some coffee, alright? Cool. Didn't mean to create some international thing here. Come on, sit down. Thanks. Anyway. <sighs> you know she was mad at me before, right? So she's probably just carrying it over. Oh. What are you reading? Uh, Hawthorne. It's uh, early American stuff. It's kind of like Gothic allegories. The birthmark. <laughs> okay. Anyway, she's just lashing out for no reason. Well, not no reason, but barely. Women, huh? Yeah, no shit. You know what? That pretty much says it all. One day they're just gonna take a little time, stick that word in the, in the dictionary. Just the word. No definition. Any guy who stumbles across it is gonna roll his eyes and knows what it means. Women. <laughs> totally. I'm so... What? God, I'm so over it. What? Them. Her. Damn. <laughs> right. Did you get your car back yet? Uh-huh. Did she bang it up or anything? You know, that's a totally what they do, man. Especially when they're mad. Like, smack the paint or throw the fender into something. Shit, I need to check. Now you better. Yeah. I could absolutely see you doing that after what you said. Right. Man, no offense, dude, but she can be a bit of a twat sometimes. Yeah, I didn't even think to. Well, like, I'm just saying. After how she took it. Right. What's up? Huh? Nothing. Seriously, what? I'm hanging, that's all. Cool. Yeah, exactly. No problem. You heard who we're playing this week? Is that fucking Bail Bonds team? Grace. <sighs> yeah, I'm just. Yeah, I'm just, uh. Dude, seriously, you seem anxious. You sure you're okay? You wanna... Yeah, I'm. Yeah. What? I don't know, I'm waiting. I, I can see that, that's very cryptic. Yeah, well that's cause you're a... What, now what am I? You know what you are. No, I don't. Dude, you are way too chatty at work. What? Hey, go, don't think I can trust you, man. If you wanna know the details so damn bad, are you a little bit paranoid, but I don't think so. No, you know what, you're small. If anybody has issues with privacy, it's your wife, okay? Yeah, fine. Yeah, let's be honest here. Probably the worst with a secret. Mm -hmm. Fucking big mouth. I don't even know what you're going on about. I mean, what am I privy to about you? You have issues. That's what's going on here. Maybe. Mouth shut, okay? Promise. It's Crystal. What is? The new girl in the shipping department. Who? You know. Her. Oh, right, right, yeah. I had no idea what her name was. What about her? You know, duh. No. I've been seeing her lately. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. month or so. You kidding me? A little over. Nah. <laughs> no, it's true, man. I have. I'm not joking, dude. And it's been a ball. Let me tell you. You think that she looks good in those shorts? Fuck, man. 
The legs are like those girls that play soccer, you know? <laughs> but not all muscly and shit, just very shapely. Super. <laughs> Solid. That's super, Ken, yeah. Hey, it's just that thing, all right? Don't judge, it happened, I can't help it. Yeah, I'm sure you probably didn't have much to do with it, right? Actually, no, dude. Like a few smiles. How's jerks? And that was about it. Great. She came to one of our games, asked me out for a drink. And I said, okay. She knows about Carly? Oh, fuck yeah! <laughs> Dude, the whole thing is square with her. Why, I don't know. You know, some chicks are into that. The whole competition thing. Maybe she sees her on my arm and thinks, man, this dude must be worth it. Woman like that. I don't know, I'm not Nostradamus. Yeah, no, thanks for clearing that up, I was pretty confused. Well, I'm just saying, dude, she gets it, she's aware. There's no problems. And let me tell you, she's 23, so she's just starting to fade a bit. <laughs> You're disgusting. Well, she's amazing, she is, but she's not like some teenager, you know? I mean, their skin is, and I'm not being a perv well, here, but hey, that's just a fact. I mean, their skin's amazing to touch. You know, like some, like a gymnast or a cheerleader. Oh, that age, that's tight. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm gonna head out of here now. <laughs> hey, look, you like her so much, uh, go for it. Thanks. And dude, yep. not a word. I won't. To anybody. Promise. Not Stephanie. Absolutely. No one. Dude. Can't mention it. If you get back with her or whatever. I don't think that's happening. Or to rich or any of those assholes oh, down Jesus here in there. Christ, take it easy. Want to that's your stuff. I, I got my own shit to deal with here. Yeah, no shit. What's that mean? <laughs> Your back axle could be knocked out of alignment. You don't even know it yet, huh? Chicks, right? Yeah, pretty damn yeah. lethal, huh? <laughs> and so you and Carly, you guys are like what? Perfect. Yeah? No problem. Uh huh. Dude, I'm serious? Like this new thing? I just made it more than perfect. Ah, she's a knockout. She really is. Crystal, I'm saying. <sighs> Face is like. Mm, fuck! Don't doubt it. <laughs> you don't need to. I'm telling you she is, and she is. Right. And she's got roommates. Hey! That's great! I am gonna head out of here now. See you around. What? You don't have time to hear this? Uh, no, I was just gonna... No, how, how I'm feeling about it. Yeah. Alright, yeah, fine. Jesus, go ahead. See what you can say. Okay, well... I'm telling you, when you get up close to her, she's got the most awesome features. These teeth, her lips, I find myself just staring at them sometimes. And her eyes are a color, you know, I don't even think that you'd find them in a box of crowns. Well, maybe one of those bigger boxes. You know, the 64 cut the sharpener. But even then, I'm not sure. Sort of a green and kind of a. Oh my dude, listen to me like a fucking kid! That's great! Well, that's what she does to me! Oh, Kim, that's, that's great, yeah. Well, smack me through a loop anyway. But I'll see you later. Uh, hey, remember. Yeah. Keep this shit to yourself. I will. You know that I'd do the same for you? Mm hmm. Totally would. Us guys gotta stick together, right? They're like fucking buffaloes out here. <laughs> <laughs> Look what happened to that. It is interesting having a wife who looks the way mine does. Attractive, I'm saying. <laughs> it really is. And it's probably not what you'd think it'd be. All great and wonderful at every turn on the road. It has its disadvantages. Believe you me. Seriously. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, it's nice as well. I don't mean to imply it's not. You enjoy her. And you're knocked out by her as this lady that you feel the need to possess or have as your own, but in the end, whew, I mean, 
from that day on, once you do get her, you start to worry about keeping her because of all these other guys who are having the same damn fantasy about her that you did. Well, so there's that. There's that fear to contend with. Plus, I got, I got to deal with all the crap I get about her being a detective or whatever. You know, wearing the uniform and all that shit. You know, it's humiliating really even having her in my place of work, but we're stuck needing two incomes. I mean, that, that's a fact. You know, she was gonna just work on the line at one point. I mean, that's what she first came in and applied for. But then there was an opening in security. One of these big cheeses up front, this dumb shit down in Human Resources, says that he'd like to help her out. Offers her a job up near him where she can sit. I watch all the cameras, sign the vendors in and out of the door. Plus, he says, well, honey, you'd make a great first impression for our company. How fucking lame is that? How bad is he wanted to get a shot at her? I don't mind it so much, I guess. I mean, all she does now is goes around from various stations and inserts this little key into various timer boxes, and, well, plus the other duties I've already mentioned. Gets full benefits for that, Jesus. And it's really not that bad. She's always in the halls, you know, down on the floor, strutting around. And I hate having to watch myself so much, you know, who I'm talking to or whatever. Pain in the ass. Now, sometimes I can't believe that this is the life that God has laid out for me in this infinite plan, and then I think, who the fuck am I, kid, and he hasn't got a plan? <laughs> I work in a warehouse with a limited number of skills and a Chevrolet that I'd love to take a blowtorch to. That is my life in the foreseeable future. <laughs> Look, don't listen to me, okay, because I'm, I'm doing okay. Just being silly. In fact, I've got a little something interesting that has flared up as of late, and I'm just gonna see where the day takes me. Which is what most guys do, right? You ride that wave? Yeah. You ride it to shore, see what comes of it. Hey, that's how it's done. It's the way we get by. Wednesday night, so... No. Uh, Carly? No, not anybody you know. I said... I said, good. Uh, you... Yeah. Who, who are you waiting for? Uh, just people. You know, uh, for more. I see. Not a girl? Uh, no. No, no. <laughs> Me neither. I mean, I'm not with a girl, either. Okay. <laughs> Although that, that would explain a lot. Huh. No, it's just, just dinner. Fine. Yes, it is. It's a very fine and nice time that I'm having. It's a great place. Yeah. I like it too. I mean, the lobby is... Why did we never come here as a couple? I mean, back then, I'm saying. No, yeah, I get what you mean. I don't know, it's a bit out of town, I suppose. That might be it. Because we liked to eat out, didn't we? We did, yes. All kinds of spots. Uh -huh. That's... Hey, you remember that crazy little, um... What do they call it? Fondue restaurant with all the cheese sauces and crap like that? What? 
Which, uh, with the, um, yeah, had that had that alpine looking roof on it. Everybody was running around the uh, later hosen, the cheddar hut. <laughs> Welcome to the cheddar hut. <laughs> yeah, that that was funny. <laughs> yeah, good eat so. Sure. I mean, for all the silliness. Right. You know, if you need to go, you should. Yeah, I, I should probably. Um, yeah. Don't want to appear like I took off. Not, Not a first impression. No. Oh, so this is like a. This is like a first date or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I've actually known him for a while. So that's. I see. Huh. <laughs> what? What? Hmm. Huh? What? Good for you. I'll bet. No, seriously, congrats. You're not wishing good luck, right? You're wishing the guy gets his bones stuck in his throat or something. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but I hope you have a good time. You can always kill his pets if you don't. <laughs> Whatever. Mm -hmm. okay. Whatever. I, I know we went through a bit of shit there recently, a few crappy months or whatnot, but you know it doesn't hurt to wish a person well. It really, really doesn't. Okay. Okay what? Why do you always have to answer me or other people with something something got so fucking abstruse in response to what we say to you? Why do you do that? Steph, you know what? I don't even know a word that could be used to describe that word, let alone what that word even means. So I doubt I'm being dad, whatever no, that is. No, no, you, no, I read a lot, so that's... No! I'm, I'm trying to, to grow and, and make myself feel better. Hey, good. Knock yourself out. And it's just impossible for you to wish me happiness, right? To hope that I might have that happen to me. It might be a little bit early if you ask me to perform big hearted, okay? I mean, you're at a nice restaurant. I can only imagine you're with some decent guy who, who drives a nice car and thinks you're the fucking apple of his eye. But you know what? Don't be surprised when he tries to get your panties. You go for anything more than the Z. But I'll bet he's amazing. It's a height of passion and all that. Look, Stephanie, I'm... I wish you only the best. I'm serious when I say this. Have, have a beautiful life. Now, can you just go back in there and let me wait for my friends, huh? You're such a prick, Greg. That's even classier when you're wearing a dress. Fuck you. You know what? I'm trying to look pretty, all right? I'm trying to make myself feel better because my former boyfriend, that guy that I gave a whole lot of my heart to, couldn't find me attractive. And now it keeps me awake at night wondering, what was wrong with me? Why could you not find me attractive? So yeah, I'm wearing a skirt tonight to feel a little sexier or, or cuter or whatever. What the hell do you care? I don't. I'm not at all worried about it. Bullshit. Bullshit. I see you looking at me. I see you glancing down my legs and all that crap. You totally miss me, wow. my body. Wow, you're going for the mother look tonight, huh? The fuck's that You mean? want this new guy in me, that's no, it. No, that's not. Approval from that's the not at all what I'm saying. You know what, fine. I'll toss you a bone if it makes you feel any better. I just can't live with myself knowing that I've made you feel bad. Look, you look beautiful. Yeah, you do, but so what? You never wore that little getup when you were with me, so it doesn't exactly thrill me to tell you that. Build you up about your dress. It's a skirt, not a dress. Whatever. Bought for tonight, I suppose? Yes. Great. I had to have something. Sure. You would do the same thing. Really? <laughs> you recognize anything that I've got on here? Of course. Well, then I guess your little theory is full of shit. What's that mean? Nothing. So, so you are meeting someone that is that it? No. Maybe. Yes. Is it, is it that new girl? No, no, no. I've, I've never met her before. But it's a date. It's a meeting. Some friends are just introducing us. Sure. It's, it's more of a gathering, really. It's at the bar. Here? Not my idea. Oh, that, that's, that's the right. It's whatever. Hey, at least I can get all dressed up for it. Well, that just makes you a slob then. And it? so what does that make you? I'm sorry. Okay. That's all right. I'm sure they can wire it shut, and I can uh, still the suit. Are you Are you okay? Yeah, fine. Yeah, no, let me see. No, it's, stop. No, are you okay? Stephanie, please, stop. Let me see. Don't. Right, let me, let me Stephanie, see. drop it, please. For once, just shut up and fucking let it go. You know what? You You can't do that. All right. Turn it on and off. However you're feeling about a person, you can. No, I'm not. Don't. I'm not a
You could walk out on me for some perceived slight, some, some horrible judgment I made about your womanhood. You can, you can hit me, you can swear at me, whatever the hell suits you. That's always been the way with you. But you know what? You're not going to be able to make up with me anytime you want, or look at my cheek right now, or call me when this miserable shithead that you're out with hurts you, because he will. He's a guy, so that's a done deal. He will find a way to damage you, and that's a fact. But you know what? I won't be there for you. If you're going to be on your own, you're going to realize I wasn't so bad. I'm going back to dinner now. Yeah, you do that. We're, we're almost done, so... Don't worry about it. I'm not staying. Please. Don't make a scene. That's not too much to ask. Just try to try be a little mature. What do you, what do you suggest then? Huh? Simple. I'm going to wait, wait here. Hopefully a doctor will come along and reset my jaw. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to nab my friends to their arrival. Come to some other place. You do that? Of course. It's just a bar, right? Oh, well, yeah, but... They got Budweiser all over town. <laughs> yeah. Plus, I don't want to remember, run the risk of you hitting my date or anything. Right. Don't even know her name yet. That's fine. Wow, that's kind of unexpected from you, so... Thanks. I guess I'm surprised, so... Yeah, I'll see you sometime. Yeah. Oh, and... Remind the new guy to add 911 to his speed dial. It might save his life. <laughs> okay. Bye. Betty drives a convertible, right? You suck. It's a gift. Yes. Anyways. So long. You have to enjoy yourself. <laughs> I don't know anything can surpass this fun I've already had, but okay. Bye. Steph. You really do look great in your little outfit there with all the, uh, you know, whatever the hell it's called. I, I think. I think it's called asymmetrical, you know, like the, the way it's cut like that. Cool. Oh, that's... Yeah. yourself no other options in life. <laughs> so, so where's Kent? Huh? He's sick or what? No. I haven't seen him for like, I don't know, a week it seems like. Hmm. Our last ball game I guess. He's alright? Suppose so. Okay. Kent's trying to, I mean he has, he's moved now over to days. Really? Yep, since Thursday. Huh. Didn't tell me so. No? I thought you guys were best buds. Yeah, me too. Oh well. <laughs> they have an opening up on the board. Right. No, no, yeah, I saw that. I thought about it myself. Mm -hmm. but... And he applied and got it. I mean, it's not as much money what, with the evening differential and all that, but he figures you get more over time that way, being at a cheaper rate or whatnot. Uh -huh. Yep. 
Okay, cool. Look, I'm gonna head back out there probably, but uh, I'll see ya. You can sit if you want to. No, that's all right. You know, I'm really just on a frozen foods. They're gonna wait for no man, probably, so I'll, I'll see you around. I'd like to talk to you, if that's okay. Uh, yeah, officially? Are there paper towels missing, or? No. <laughs> you can eat, too, if you wanna. I mean, I, I don't want you to just stare at me. It's gonna make me all self-conscious. Sorry. <laughs> No, it's fine. It's just, I know what it's like being on, on break, you know, kind of precious. True. I've been buying my food lately, which stinks. 7 Eleven taquitos, you know, they're only going to get you so far. <laughs> right. But I'm terrible about making myself, you know? Huh, Steph used to do it. Always huh? did. You see her or anything? Uh, once or twice. Nice. How did that go? Pretty well. Yeah, first time she stood up in public and told me how hideous I was as a physical specimen. Second time was better, she just hit me. Yes. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm glad you could enjoy that. It really makes the pain worth it, you know? I'm sorry. No, no, please go on. Humiliation is nothing compared to the joy that it brings you. You're funny. Yeah, that's, that's me, Drew Carey Jr. Who is that? The heavy dude with the TV show? King of Queens? No. No, 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 the other, the other fat one. Um, With the glasses, you know? Glasses. Oh. Doesn't matter. But you are, though. I've always thought you had a, you know, a great sense of humor. Huh. You, you are. I mean, you're probably the funniest guy Carly, here. Why does this feel like a setup? It's not. I mean, seriously, you haven't spoken three words of kindness to me since Steph moved? I, I get that, but... You're throwing me off here tonight, and I just want to know where you stand. No offense, but... I need to ask you something. You see? God, I really am. I'm like psychic. It's nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah? No big deal. I, those were sort of famous last words, followed by, so did you kill the guy in aisle 13 or not? Come on. Don't always bust my chops about security. It's a job. I'm trying to talk to you here. Please. Okay. Sorry. Go for it. It's about Kent. Uh, figured. Yeah, and I just want you to tell me the truth here. Cause see, look, I'm pregnant. No. I swear it's not mine. Come on, no. ass. Jesus Christ, that's great. I am. I'm almost yeah. two months along, you know. Wow. And we are very excited. We are. Um, you know, and I'm like sick and happy and all these different things all within a 24-hour time period every day. I'll bet. <clears throat> but what I'm not right now, what I don't seem to be able to get to is, you know, some place where I can feel okay, safe. And why is that? Um, why do you think? I'm guessing Kent, but only because of the way you're saying that to me, I mean... Really? I mean, yeah, why? I mean... I don't know. What's bothering you? Little things. A change in his routine, his day schedule, and how he's out of the house a lot when I call him. He says he's sleeping, but I've asked the neighbors and they say his car will be gone sometimes. Just stop. Carly, it's probably nothing. You know what? Probably so far from being my friend. Right All right, now. I'm sure it's not. Yeah? I mean, look, I'm not here on earth to be, you know, a vouch for Kent, but I'd put good money on it. Okay. I would. Then fine. I so don't believe you. Well, then I'm no Drew Carey or whatever his name is. That's it. And no, you're not. <laughs> Which, which is good news for the rest of us. You're much more girlish and attractive and... Okay. You probably hate my face though, right? Isn't that what you think? That's very funny, you fucking... Like that one joke Ken loves to tell, you know? Show me a beautiful woman and I'll show you a guy who's tired of fucking her. You know what I'm saying here, right? Mm-hmm. Greg. I guess. Yeah, and I just want you to look at me, okay? I know it's stupid and all that shit, but I figured if you can look at me and lie, then at least I did everything that I can do, so you'll be the one that gets to go to hell. Great, thanks. 
Hey, I'm carrying the baby. You get to carry the guilt. Super. So? So, what? You truthfully and with full disclosure do not know anything that's going on with my husband. Carly. Any woman he's seeing or way he might be feeling that suggests is getting weird on me? This is not fair. Nothing? No, I mean, seriously. No, this answer. Is, okay, this is not fair. Seriously, this is not right of you to do to me. I mean, I'm not one to point fingers, but, but. It's a, it's a, it's a no win, as they I would like to say. It's a, it's a no way I can come and out of this whole situation. why is that? Because. If you're so sure you know him. He's his own person. I know that. I know. But you've known him for like ever, so. I, I'm his friend. I work with the guy. But that doesn't mean I know what's going on up in his head when he runs down to the store to get you some. What are you hungry for when you're pregnant? What are you craving these days? Candy, mostly. Okay. <laughs> So I'm sure he's, he's doing what he's supposed to be doing and thinking a bunch of lovely thoughts about his wife and the mother of his child as he picks you up that Ben and Jerry's. I'm sure that's the case. I'm not saying All right, because you know what? I'm almost 110% sure that's the story. But I'm not his priest. I don't see him in the heart of Kent like some old-time prophet. You are a really good bullshitter, you know that? Yeah, totally. Fine. I'm just saying you can't ask me that. And not because I know anything, but because... I am ignorant of you. I see. You're talking to the wrong guy. Okay. And if I were to find something out? If I were to find, a, you know, a different type of hair on his passenger headrest, or like a photo or something. This receipt from a restaurant he'd been to, with you supposedly. But the price would suggest that another couple people might have been there. Listen, it's... What should I do about that? I mean it. No, just go with me for a second here, okay? If you were pregnant, what would you do in a moment <laughs> such as that of truth? All right, if that were to happen, if I was to come upon something by looking for it or by accident, I would expect me outright for the truth and I would expect to hear it. Okay. And if you were to make this the most excruciating lunch period I've ever lived through, then yes. You good? Yeah. And I'm happy for you guys with the news about the baby. Thanks. Steph will be really... She knows. Of course. I already told her. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you. So I'm asking you then... What? That question, the one that you would ask if you were pregnant and wondering about all this stuff. Carly, I've seen Kent like two times in the last month, if that. Okay. So I'm not sure I'm the guy to... But yeah. Alright, we went out to dinner once in that time, okay? Okay. We decided to uh, splurge and eat over at that Italian joint out by the lake. Visconti's. That's the one, it was my idea. Huh. Turns out, guess what? I saw Stephanie there. Yeah, with some guy. Unbelievable. Wow. Yeah, so anyway, that's, uh... Yeah. This was from Longhorns. The rib place. Over on 22. Right. Right. No, yeah, I know that. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> that's where we started out was the Italian joint, right? So I see Stephanie there. That's the time she whacked me one. And when they get there, we decide not to deal with all that and go get a rack of ribs over at the, uh... Uh, uh, decided to do us, um, all of us. Okay. I see. Except for like the main part, the us part. How many other us's were there? Uh, right. No, 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 right. But sorry, this is making me a little. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, they were friends of ours. They were from the day shift. I don't see them very often, actually, and uh, we all had dinner. It was simple. Okay. Guys or girls? Guys. Guys after the ball game. It's actually, uh, that's the same date as a game day. You can, you can check that on the calendar. It's, it's, the, it's the truth. The same truth that Ken would tell me if I called him up right now? Here, in front of you. Yes. Absolutely. Two guys. You want their names? No. Then... Then it's fine. So 
okay. God, I don't know if I can take another six months of this. Yes, me either. You know, you run a pretty tight little investigation there, Miss Colombo. Thanks. No problem. I don't know why God had to make it so, like, hard for us to trust you guys. But he did. And it sucks. chasing you the whole time around the place? Seriously, with a cart, and maybe even a kid in it. But he keeps showing up in the same sections you're in. Or you can see him way down the other end, just coincidentally passing through the same spots that you're in, for like a half dozen aisles in a row. And that's not all, because he finds a way to get into the same checkout as you, and to do the small talk, and even tries to help you out to the car. Whatever he can do, right? It's weird. And gross! And upsetting. It's enough to make you throw up sometimes. I've done that before. Pulled over by the roadside and vomited. All because some man made me so nervous. I've then been followed too. Yeah, not just out to my car, but all the way home. Slowly going along behind me to see where I live. Or work. Or in the mall from store to store by people. This happens so much. I mean, not like every day, but enough that I couldn't even give you a number in my lifetime. And for what? Because I'm great or witty or have this wonderful way about me? No. How could anyone know that from chasing me around Safeway? <coughs> the answer is they couldn't. It's to do with this, my face. I was born with it, people, that's all. And Kent wouldn't be seen with me in public if I didn't have it. That's a fact. Look, I'm not saying that I don't understand how I got lucky in many ways. I do. I do get that. But I just want you folks to understand that beauty comes with a price. Just like ugly does. Different ones, of course. And I'll take what I've got. But. I've cried myself to sleep because of who I am as well. And you should know that. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to get all heavy or anything. It's just that my shit at work is kind of long, you know. So I usually have some time now to think, I guess. What's up? I didn't know if you were going to make it today with the new schedule and all. Still free on Saturday. You keep your seniority if you move. Oh, that's cool. Didn't tell me so, last to know and all that. Well, I am sorry, man. No big deal. Not like we're in a relationship or something. Well, I can't miss this man's fucking playoff and I want a bad trophy. Well, good then. At least we'll have the infield covered. And yeah, you know it. But Rich's pitches, that fucks up the whole thing. And I wish you'd give someone else a shot. God, now. me too. I didn't even try, not that I'm a pitcher, mind you, but I don't think it could hurt. Exactly. Guy's arm is total crap. 
Seriously? Man, completely filled like dog shit. So what's new? Nada. You happy? Well, that's a big question there, buddy. Yeah, but I mean like... Like with what? With the baby and all that? Sure. That's cool, I guess. <laughs> Good. And Carly's getting kind of tubby. <laughs> but that's sort of cute, too, you know? Never mm -hmm. seen her with an ass like that before. Huh. And I'll put up with the dough for now. As long as she hits the gym, like, day after she delivers, we're fine. Wow, that's nice. Hey, she says a lot of than I do. Carly knows it's all she's got going for her. Her loss. She'll take care of it. Whatever, you pick out a name yet? Nah, it's too early. Use my mom's, probably? Mm -hmm. We took that fucking test. It's a girl. It's all right. Anyway, it's good to see you, man. Miss you on nights. Yeah. I wish I could say the same, man. It is so fucking sweet being off by three and sleeping like a white man. Fuck, you know? Of course. It's awesome. <laughs> Plus, I feel like I got more time to myself. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't know. Evening's free. And that's because you suck. And you just keep on working for the man like a fucking coolie. Mm, I'm just used to it, you know? That's true. You suck for years. <laughs> hey. By the way, uh... Thanks for whatever that was. It was very cool. What's that? Cover him for me about Crystal. Oh, right, right, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. It's quite an elaborate tale you came up with there, buddy. It's pretty good. Mm hmm. Man, if you've afforded me, let's just say some amazing times. And Carly goes to work now, overcomes Crystal, and bam, you know, just, mm, are me there? Doing shit that'd make your head spin, I bet. Wow. Never seen a girl like this before. I'm sure. And there's something else. Yeah. Nasty. Like, really. But in a fun way, too, you know? Sure. Sexy dirty. <laughs> well, it's different. Anyhow, inventive. Hey, look about that here. Yeah. I mean... What? I mean, don't ask me to help out with that anymore, okay? With what? You know, your secret's there. Whatever you're doing with that girl. Crystal? Yeah, her. She's got a name, Greg. You know, she does like taking Polaroids in the cock. Mm, yeah, it's like, you didn't need an old fact like that, Ken. <laughs> yeah, but now you do. And I take them of her, too. Oh, super. Loads of them. Mm, didn't even know she had a cock. <laughs> <laughs> something every day. Ha! It's not really that funny, too. Anyhow, just, hey, look. Don't ask me to help out with that again, because I can't. You know, I just. No, oh, you mean you won't. No. I'm saying, yeah, maybe won't. Right, because of course you can. I mean, you can do pretty much anything you want. So it stands to reason that you could if you want to. I mean, if you had to help out your friend or like, I don't know, felt inclined to, then you could without any problems. So you're saying that you won't. That's what you're, that's what you're really saying. Okay. You will not? No, I'm saying look. I felt like shit when I did that to Carly. Even though we don't always get along, it was, it was crappy, you know? And hey man, I don't want to be that guy to her <laughs> anymore, all right? Hey, fine. Look, this isn't just me being judgmental, saying anything about your lifestyle, I'm just saying it's gotta quit for me, being that guy. I get it. Be good. Whatever you gotta do. Right. Or not. Yeah. Yup. I mean, you're in it now, but you don't have to do any more with Bugsy so much. Now, what does that mean, in it? You know you helped make it happen in the first no, place. No, no, I didn't. When I brought it up, yes. No, no. Uh, you said go for it when we were talking about it in the break room, so no. that's what I did. Dude, that was before. No, and, and you went out to dinner with us. You, you lied to my wife about it. I mean, you practically took the photos for us. <laughs> but if you have suddenly gone a, a case of the conscience, then fine. Look, you do what you want, all right? Your life's a different thing than mine. If you can do that realistically and live with yourself, it's fine. Hey, man. Thanks. I really appreciate you giving me your permission here. I'm just saying this. And I'm just saying this. Don't be such a lump of shit, okay? Look. No, not some high-minded guy that sits in judgment of his friends. I'm not. No, that's exactly what you're doing. No, Ken, I'm not. 
I'm saying I can't be a party to lying right now to a bunch of secrets where I'm, I'm put in that position. Whatever, man. It's easy. We don't see each other that much right now. I have no idea what you're doing out there at night, two hours from now. You just keep it to yourself, we won't have any problems. Fine. Agreed? Sure. God, you know what you are? No, what? What, what you sound exactly like when you're talking like that. I don't know. Like a fucking pussy. Great. You do, though. I mean, you sound exactly like the kind of frightened little pussy that I used to beat the shit out of. You know, I remember that's half the reason I became your friend, so you didn't do it to me. Yeah? Come over here and say that. Oh, good. Oh, good. That'd be good for Team Spirit right now. You and me getting into a fight? We won't. Don't worry. Good. Because you would never do it. Not in a million years. Is that right? Yeah, it's completely true. And why is that? Because you're just as egotistical as the next guy. And you wouldn't want me kicking your ass in front of all these people that you know. Really? Yeah, pretty much. And you see, guys like you, I mean, you talk a big fucking game, but that's about it. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, it's good for you, it's smart. I'm getting that kind of thing with you. You know what, not because I'm scared. I'll bet. I'm doing this because that's what a grown-up does. And because you're a faggot. No. <laughs> because real men, they don't have to wail away at each other to prove some point. Whatever you think, dude. Well, you know what? That's what I'm choosing to do. To head over to right field, so let it go. Super! I mean, you cheat on her, you're jealous. Don't worry yourself. about it! Just remember what I said. Yeah, the same goes for you, pussy! You know what? Can't knock it off, alright? I've had about enough of your shit. A decade or so, it's right about my limit. Yeah? And what the fuck are you gonna do about it, huh? You gonna go tell Carly? Maybe I will. Bullshit! You don't even have the balls for that. Are you sure? Yeah. And you know why? Cause you would hate not being liked, man. The fact that she would hold you responsible for part of this and she would. You couldn't deal with that. Oh, and fuck, man. When she goes and tells Stephanie about it, you're gonna cry like the little fucking douchebag you are. Dude, what is the matter with you? Yeah, I guess I'm just cleaning the house. I realize I don't really need you in my life. You know life. what? That's fucking fine with me. I feel the exact same way. I felt it for years. Just too goddamn lazy to do anything about it. Good. Yes, it is. It's very good, pussy. You're a whatever, asshole. Hey, come stand up my fucking face, man! Uh, why this guy shit always gotta end this way? How about so many throwing punches? Oh, suck my dick! <laughs> I mean, you're always thinking that you're better than me because of why, huh? Because you fucking read? Now, fuck that. Kent. You know what this is? You're not angry at me, you're angry at yourself. Yeah, what kind of two dollar philosophy is that, huh? You know what, you're... No, why the fuck would I be mad at me, huh? Because of what you're doing! I like what I'm no, doing! No, you are! Oh, fuck you, man! Get off! Shut up! No, I'm not... Stop! Up. You stop! Shut up! You shut up! You shut the fuck up! Oh, man! I can care less when you even think about it, dick! Jesus fucking Christ. Just always knew you were fucking hothead, but holy shit! Yeah! You're supposed to be a grown man, jumping my face like a fifth grader? Oh. Jesus! Oh fuck, man. As long as we're getting it all out there, our emotions and all that, I might as well let you in on a little something. What's that? You sure? Dude, just whatever. Not you sure? You better crack the hell up, man. Your ex is an ugly piece of Sh shit. Shut your mouth. Ugly. Real fucking alpha woman that I stop? never understood your interest in. Man! I'm not that it's any of my business, dude. I'm just gonna let you in on a little something, alright? She's plain as a barn door. And everybody says that, not just me. When I mean, you're a goddamn laughing stock at work, dude. When I mean, you're tasting women's completely up your ass. The only reason anybody would ever be with her is because she gives a good head. People have been saying that forever. Fuck it. I'm gonna shag some grounders. <laughs> Not make me humiliate you twice and in one day. Fuck you. Fuck you. You talk about someone I care about like that, I say fuck you. You hear me in there, you shithead. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? This team is no, bullshit. You only got I'm out of here. Dude, 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 you can't, can't do that. My no, you signed up. The guys are going to be pissed. Come on, man. Let's play off. Too bad. I can't be in here. Right. I can't get somebody down here. they got to be registered at the Y. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> Dude, you can't do that! Hey, you explain it to me. How the fuck am I gonna do that? Go ahead, go on. Well, how? I don't know, you can uh, show him a polar to your dick. 
<laughs> you better get the back on that field. Can't get, get that jersey back on! Get out of my way. Fuck you! I'm not kidding! I'm serious! <clears throat> it's gonna take a fuck more more than the likes of you to ruin my chances at that trophy. Alright. Fine. We'll do this here for everybody to see, but we need to be totally clear about what's gonna happen, okay? Whatever, bitch. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Me and you. It's not just because of what you said about Steph. Go on. This is gonna happen because you need it. For who you are, what you've done, just all the shit you will no doubt perpetrate over the rest of your life, okay? What the fuck? That is why. Eat shit, ass wife. <laughs> Oh. Oh, come on, dude! Come on! Come on! Play! 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 Oh, boy! time built up? Sure, I have to. Well, with the kid coming and everything. Cool. Did Ken tell you we're going to call her Jennifer? Oh, that's, yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn Ken. Tom's huh? sleeping like a baby right now. You know what you should do? What's that? Take off. Tell your supervisor you're feeling sick, go home, jump into bed with Ken, surprise him. You think? Yeah, Betty loved that. Okay, I'll think about it. I mean, tonight <laughs> even, it'd be good for him. Um, yeah. Maybe I will one of these days. 
Steve. Good night. I'd really go now if I were you. Right now. Okay. Honestly, you should go. She was, I mean... Uh, that wasn't her. Was that her? Yeah. Her ass is... Damn. Yeah. <laughs> she deserves a big ass for once, I guess. <laughs> so, this is... What's up? Nothing. I, um... Who are you reading now? Oh, just... Washington Irving. Rip Van Winkle. Good one. Sad. Sad. You want anything? No, I'm not. I'm fine. Sorry, Miss Carly. I was not with you. We're staying in touch online and stuff. Cool. Skyping. Great. I mean, whatever. whatever anyway, happens. anyway, I, uh, I came to see you. Please don't stare. Why not? You're all dressed up. I don't know. I just. And I like looking at you. Yeah? Always did. Not enough though, right? No, Steph, that was... No, you got that in your head, you was told a stupid thing, but no. You have a great face, lots of character and... Uh. <laughs> Holy fuck, I never say the right thing. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> Look, I, um... I have to... It's the ring, right? He Why saw that. He saw that. <laughs> yeah, just now. Yeah. Hey, I told you before I'm psychic. Yeah, you did. So, let me guess. The, uh, the miserable shithead turned out to be okay, huh? Yep. You got it. How okay? Pretty damn okay, actually. <laughs> then good. No, that's great. I'm happy for you. You can expect goldfish as a wedding gift. Yeah, excellent. Tim. Tim's his name. Tim. Good his name as any, I guess. He works with computers. Nice. Can you get me wireless? <laughs> That's the step near him. Idiot. That's me. He's psychic idiot, yeah? Yeah. But once I go back to school, get my degree, you're gonna have to call me Mr. Idiot, alright? So be prepared. Respect is just around the corner. You serious? How about school? Looks like it. Can't pack boxes all my life. No. As much as I adore it. Guess not. Well, I could. But eventually I'd have to buy a rifle and come through here just killing everybody. That just seems excessive, you know? We haven't set a date yet. Okay, let me know. Guess what? I'm a manager now. Oh, yeah? It's awesome. And you? How are you? Oh, you know. No, I don't, actually. You were never very good at but keeping me up to date with your life or anything. True. It's not a cut at all. It's um, just a fact. No, I know I did like a lot of shit wrong stuff. Kind of secretive. I'm aware of that. Too late though, right? To fix it? Probably, you know? Old dog new tricks. Sure. So yeah. I'm gonna try the, uh, the college thing again. Oh yeah. In September. Might transfer the Edgewater plan in a few months. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll just quit altogether, you know? No longer playing on the baseball team. Oh, really? Yep, that's over. Oh, and here's a good one. I, I think I ruined Carly's life just before you got here. Is that right? I mean, I didn't mean to, but... No, I bet you didn't. You don't know. Well, if it's what I think it is, then no, she'll be, she'll be 2,000 times better because of it. You think so? Yeah, I mean, I would be. She'll be fine. 
She's a strong person. Yeah. Yeah, I've come to realize that. Okay, look, um, this is hard for me to come here and see you. Um, but I, I felt I had to, you know? I mean, he put this ring on my finger and it was, it was like this amazing moment and I was crying and I was happy and we were talking about our lives and, and how we want a house and kids and everything. And the whole time we're talking here in my head. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing you. <laughs> and, and I, like he says all those things, you know, all those things that Tim is saying, I'm imagining them with you because that's how it was in my head for so long, you know. Part of me is still waiting for you to sweep me off my feet, you know? Like some last ditch thing to win me back. Oh. Bastard. Really? Yeah, I mean like, you know, some deal out of the movies. If anybody might deserve that, that would be me. Stephanie, the whole thing was misunderstood. No, it's, it's I fine. promise. It doesn't you. matter. It doesn't matter because the other part of me was screaming, thank God you came to your fucking senses. I mean, really. Look, I believe we're right where we should be right now. And I don't want to believe it that, that we could have done shit to hurt each other, but we were never very perfect as a couple. Um, not that we weren't good together, we were, but you know, you would have never given me that ring or the sort of future I'm wanting from a guy, right? I mean, you know that I thought of you that way. Hope that you could be that person, but you, you weren't. Not really. I'm sorry, Steph, but it's true. I mean, I liked you a lot. I obviously even loved you, but I was drifting. You know, in the four years we spent together, they, they could have gone on another four, ended in a month, and I'd have been fine either way. I mean, if you think back and you're honest about it, I'm hedging my bets here because I don't want you to hit me, but I'm, you know. No, you're right, you're right. I mean, you're totally dead on. Hey, you're free to disagree. If you want to say I'm the greatest guy ever, I will not <coughs> Yeah, that's not going to happen. Figures. <laughs> no, you're right. I mean, I, I was the first to say something, but it could have just as easily been you. Right. And, and I know I'm putting all this fucking wound glow on it like it was special and all, but it, it wasn't. No, it was special. So. No, it doesn't matter. I mean, I don't, I don't even know why I'm here or why I kept hanging on for so long, but fuck. I love you, Greg, so much, I, I did. And that doesn't make me stupid or pathetic or whatever. I'm just hopeful. I guess that's nice, yeah? Yeah. It wasn't your face, though. I mean, just so you know, I was never like this, this ass man or some legs guy. I liked how you looked, period. Okay, that helps. <laughs> It does. I mean, I maybe shouldn't make such a big deal out of it, but you know, most girls act, it's a big deal. You know, this, this guy I have right now, he, he looks at me and, and that's it. And his face just lights up. Good, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Really. So go be happy. That's what I want for you. Won't point me in the right direction then, would you? Sure. It's right out there somewhere. You see that? Next to that dude in the convertible. <laughs> Thanks. Steph, you look really pretty tonight. <laughs> I know. <laughs> How do you know that? I told you before, I'm psychic. Right. You see? Yeah. I knew you were going to say that.
So what I learned from all this, all that's happened to me, oh shit, I don't know. <laughs> Which is my usual habit, you know? You know, I have no doubt learned absolutely nothing and will be able to apply none of these life lessons to my actual day-to-day -day routine. That's sad, but true. Sorry. Sorry, just being silly. No, I'll tell you what I got a better sense of in these last few months. And you know what? What I learned was... Jesus Christ, you can't get away from that shit, huh? I'm in class now. You know, I'm taking a uh, humanities elective, no biggie. But we're going over all these different paintings, learning a bit about them, and this, and this one painting sticks out in my mind after everything that happened to, you know. It's by this guy, his name is Velasquez. And it has a name like, and I'm not kidding here, but the Toilet of Venus, yeah. So the teacher, he's going on and on about it, He's trying to keep us from staring at this lady's bare ass in the picture. And he says, he says the reason you can't really see the woman's face in the mirror, you know, this little cherub guy is kind of holding it so it's hard to see. He's saying the reason is, is because we all have a different perception of what real beauty is. Isn't that funny? He's saying it's all, it's all very subjective. And it's just about personal feelings and stuff. And you see, that's all I was ever trying to say to Steph about whatever, you know, what happened. It's all very subjective, and we shouldn't worry about that shit. And yet, I come out looking like a bit of a bad guy from the whole deal. But life is crazy, right? You know, the truth of the matter is, the honest thing about this is, I think I'm a better man now after Stephanie. Not like awesome or anything, but at least, at least decent, you know? I think that when I start dating again, I'm not now, but when I do, I'll be less judgmental about what a person is like. I mean, just to be clear, I'm not dating anybody right now. I thought I should take a little breather on that front, but I mean, in theory, in theory, I know better how to treat people like girls, or women. I guess they like it when you say women. <laughs> Steph got married two weeks ago. You know, she lifted the day three times, which, which made me laugh, but it was finally held a couple Sundays ago. I got invited too, which was cool. <laughs> I sat by Carly, actually, and her daughter, who was Kent was a no-show, interesting, and it was really, Steph looked great, you know, with one of those veils, you know, her hair all, you know, we had this moment as her father was walking up the aisle, like when time freezes and it's just you and that other person, you know, she glanced over at me and this like, uh, this like glow was on her face. And it was really, well, it was just like it should have been. It was peaceful. I even got a chance to lean in. I said, I said, hey, you look really pretty. <laughs> and her eyes got all, well, you know. Maybe that's the best thing I learned from my life with Steph, is to always Take the time to do that. Don't miss out on it because life is so fucking short. And what does it take to be nice every once in a while? I'll tell you what, not much. Hardly anything at all. <laughs>